Frank Sears Daytona. Talk about something really nifty and neat. Look at this. A Chevelle wagon that thinks it's an SS. It's big block. It's got a complete Hotchkiss suspension and a double A arms, Coney shocks, turbo 400 tranny, shorty stainless steel headers, terminating into three inch pipes, complete perimeter frame. This car's crazy. It's, it's like having an LS5 SS Chevelle in a wagon. It's really, really neat. Like I said, complete perimeter frame. There's no deterioration, no marks on the frame or anything. Floor pans are all nice and solid. Uh, the pipes are stainless. They're like brand new. Uh, fuel lines are all just the way they should be on the right side of the car. The uh, brake lines on the left driver's side. Um, nice solid floor pans and reinforcements are all nice. No rust, no deterioration on them. It's a real nice straight car. Park and brake cable is on and it's functional. Neat, neat car. Okay, the three inch pipes terminating into two Flowmaster mufflers. Again, the perimeter frame. Just no marks, no scuffs, no nothing on it. Complete Hotchkiss rear suspension in it with air shocks. And not only does it have front discs, it has rear disc brakes on it too. The frame in the back is, is just as nice as it is in the front, no deterioration, no marks, 12 bolt Chevy rear, heavy duty Hotchkiss sway bar on the car. It's like having a LS5 Chevelle Super Sport in a wagon. Where else are you going to find one like that? How's this for a Super Sport wagon? What Chevy should have made way back when I guess. It's like having an LS6, LS5 in a wagon. Functional, cold air, Cowl induction hood. Underneath, big block Chevy, just like an SS would have. Power steering, power brakes, factory air conditioning, new alternator, Edelbrock manifold, Carter AFB carburetor, Edelbrock carburetor, um, transmission oil cooler, stainless steel headers, shorty headers, steering and brakes, and it, it just the same as having an SS Chevelle in a wagon. You got the best of both worlds here. Absolutely the best of both. 71 Chevelle SS type wagon that thinks it's a 70. It's got a 70 nose on it, 70 grill. It, it, the best year, the most desirable year for a Chevelle, 1970. This car gives you that look. It's a 71 with a 70 look. Looks like an SS396 car. It's got a big block in it. It's red, black stripes on it, just like an SS car would have. Functional cowl induction hood, just like an SS car. All the SS badging. You can't tell this thing from a real SS, except it's a wagon. And so you get to haul people in it and have lots of fun with it at the same time. It's a supercar in the, in the form of a station wagon. How much better can it get than that? Got 18 inch wheels on the front, Hotchkiss suspension, disc brakes front and rear, 20 inch wheels in the rear. The paint job in this car is absolutely gorgeous. It seems like it's a foot deep. The interior is gorgeous in the car. It has SS buckets in the front, uh, SS bench in the back, console, shifter on the console, air conditioning, mirrors both sides. Body fit is beautiful on this vehicle. Smoke glass on the side windows. It's just, a, it's an SS wagon. It's just the only way you can describe it. It's having an SS Chevelle in a station wagon with all the amenities that the SS car has. All the trim, the chrome. Everything on this car is just exactly the way it would have been from the factory. It, it, it's exemplary. It's just very nice fit, finish. Everything's polished as it should be. All your trim around the windows is all finely polished. All the stainless. The windows are all really good condition. There's no marks or scratches on any of them. Uh, the door handles don't have any pitting. The wheel well moldings are all as they were when they were new. It's just a great car all around.